Well, you may not recognize the name, but in the movie business, Elmer Bernstein is a legend. He's composed the music for more than 200 films and TV shows, many of those classics. Now 80 years old, Bernstein is nominated for his third Golden Globe Award for his score for Far From Heaven. Our national correspondent, Jamie Gangel, sat down to talk to him this week and talk about his remarkable career. After 50 years of scoring movies, Elmer Bernstein is considered one of the greatest composers in Hollywood history. Often called the man with the golden touch, responsible for creating the sound that has made so many films so memorable. From The Magnificent Seven, to The Great Escape, to the incomparable To Kill a Mockingbird. For me, music is a, an opportunity to live in a secret world, uh, a world of sound, uh, a world where you express things that are very meaningful to me because they're expressing things I might not necessarily want to say to anybody. Trademark Elmer Bernstein, eloquent and charming. And throughout his career, he's also credited with incredible versatility. The groundbreaking jazz score for The Man with the Golden Arm. The lush orchestration for epics like The Ten Commandments. And last but not least, the skill to make screwball comedies like Animal House even funnier. Bernstein has done it all, but modestly insists he's not always sure how. Take me through the steps of how you compose a score for a film. Usually the first week I will do nothing but look at the film, that's all I'll do, and try not to even think about it because I really what I'm trying to do is to have the film speak to me. And when you get past that point, when you get to the composing point, uh, yes, that's when you get nervous. <laughs> until then, still? I'm, ha I'm still having fun until then. <laughs> yes. Uh, now, what happens when you see that blank sheet of paper, you begin to think a lot about the grace of God. <laughs> you know? uh, where is it going to come from? Uh, how do we get started here? Why did you choose to do such a breadth, such diversity of films? Well, it has to do with my attitude toward life, I think. Uh, it's adventure. I don't like doing the same thing all the time, and I like the challenge, the idea that it's something new. That adventure began in New York City. Bernstein was a musical prodigy by the age of 12, studied at Juilliard, and began a career as a concert pianist. But during World War II, he was drafted, assigned to write music for Armed Forces Radio, and discovered a passion for composing. After the war, he quickly found his way to Hollywood and recognition. An Emmy, two Golden Globes, and 13 Oscar nominations, winning for the film version of Thoroughly Modern Millie. Hi, Francis. But perhaps most important to Bernstein, he has earned the respect and admiration of the finest directors who say he is simply the best. Director Martin Scorsese picked Bernstein to write the music for The Age of Innocence. I think in his best work, the music inhabits the film in a way. It is like grace that's been bestowed on the picture in a way. It's something very, very special that you can't pull away from the overall impression of the picture. You can't separate that. Now 80 years old, Bernstein lives in California with his wife Eve. Two of his four children are also in the music business. His daughter Emily orchestrates all his film scores. 
He manages to reinvent himself and stay very current and very interested in what's going on in the business. Evidence of that? Bernstein still works full time and in between movies does concerts and mentors young musicians. He is also once again getting rave reviews and awards for his latest score for this year's critically acclaimed Far From Heaven. And while enjoying the limelight, says he's already looking for his next project. Do you ever consider retiring? No. <laughs> because? Because I enjoy working, I enjoy being active, and I love music, and I still enjoy the process. It's still about the adventure. Still about the adventure. For today, Jamie Gangel, NBC News, New York.